key thing is that we are trying to find uh, the, the ultrasound at the right frequency and at the right intensity that can propagate in the complex joint space so that it can reach the defect at the right frequency and at the right amplitude so that it can enhance the care outcome. So that is what we are trying to do. So a lot of my research has also shown that the right kind of ultrasound when it reaches the cell, it makes the chondrocyte happy or chondrocyte does what, what it wants to do, then hopefully this is when we'll get the repair. So we have done all this work one, two, and three. That is the in vitro work that, that doesn't involve animals. So now we are involved in making um, um, defects in rabbits. This tells you that the right knee did not receive any ultrasound. The left knee received ultrasound. Remember I showed you that mm -hmm. this is how we apply ultrasound. So the right knee does not, leave, does not get ultrasound and the left knee got ultrasound. And as you can see here that there's a much smoother cartilage on the left knee than on the right knee. You can see here, right? So these are just very preliminary data that we have just collected. So uh, this is what I said that I'm working on right now is the animal studies. So we will just work more on these kinds of things mm -hmm. and then take it to the sheep model.